Hey everybody, welcome to KBNP. Today we're going to replace the boost solenoid on our Navion RV. You! First step, disconnect your shore power. So I'm going to swivel this seat around. These Torx bolts will need to be re removed. There's four of them to take to lift the seat out. And that will use a E14 uh, Torx socket. So I moved the seat out of the way. Move this. And here's the boost solenoid that we're going to be replacing today. I'm following Bob Swore's directions in the uh, View Navion Facebook site. And I'm just going to take a picture, a couple of pictures of the original wiring installation. And I think we need to undo these two bolts to tilt this forward so that we can get at the, this mounting hardware back here. Okay. These are 11 millimeter. Set them aside. Okay. Okay, so on the back side, Replacement boost solenoid, Cole Hersey, and you can see it has four posts instead of three. So this will replace that. So these these two ground wires we are going to mount to the extra post on the new boost solenoid per the Bob Swore directions in the View Navion site. A 13 millimeter right here. We're just going to go ahead and put these on right now. Uh, while we're there, and I'll probably tighten everything up at the end. Just get everything sort of started. It's one side. Now let's get the other side of the old one. And you could just take the whole thing apart and do it. Um, I just do it this way so I don't have to, I don't get confused and end up having to go back and looking at the photograph. side here putting the lock washer on which I have to drop at least once and the nut I said I'll tighten these up a little bit more in a minute so these will go to the extra post so this is the last thing to come off the old boost solenoid this guy was actually a 10 millimeter And this will go in the trash. And that will go here. This ground will go on this extra post here. Let's uh Let's mount it up solid and tighten things down. We've got these uh, screws and nuts to fasten this back to this plate. So we're gonna do that first and then we'll mount this plate back here. 
So basically I'm just kind of with my hands I'm grabbing the uh, boost solenoid backing plate and kind of lining it up with this plate and fishing these screws through you know, like that like so and we'll put the nut on it's an 11 so we're gonna start to tighten it down all the way just get it going slide another one of these screws through That you even really need to put a screwdriver on the other side to tighten it. I didn't. I didn't need a screwdriver on the other side to loosen it. So I just got my fingers holding it in place, and it does start to turn a little bit. But I really don't think it's going to go anywhere. I'm going to mount this plate back here. The screws are sticking through here, so that's going to slide that back on. Okay, and these eleven millimeter nuts I need to go back on okay so now we're just going to sort of tighten things up on this boost solenoid this is a 13 millimeter. Okay, that's tight. Let's get this side here. And you could use a, uh, a ratcheting box end wrench would be nice here. And it's pretty tight. And then these guys with the 10 millimeter. A little tricky to get to it, but uh, we're on it. I think I've got good, tight, solid connections everywhere. Now let's make sure we don't have any wires doing anything silly. Nothing overly tight. Nothing crunched anywhere in here. I think we're good. All right. So now we're going to button everything up. So this guy. And uh, on here somehow. Something like that. Not sure that it matters too much. Make sure that you, when you go to put this back into position, that you have the bracket facing forward the way it's supposed to face forward. It's easy to get this mixed up when you're moving the seat around on the bolt pattern. Okay, so just getting a, a few, uh, getting some of the bolts started and got to sort of straighten out the skirt as I go. The seat is heavy, so when you're doing this, make sure you get in a position where you can, you've got a little bit of leverage and your elbows aren't too far out from your body. Okay. Here it goes. This will swivel the seat. So let's see how that goes. All right. It's kind of boxed in here, but you can get into the side here with your finger to help kind of get things lined up.
guys were in there pretty tight. So I'm gonna make sure that. I'm sure they have a uh, particular torque rating. I know they were just, they were, I could break them loose without a breaker bar, but they were tight. So I added an extender on this to help kind of get past this with the socket. Still having to kind of push it in to stay straight, but okay. All right. Reconnecting the uh, the negative wires to your battery. This third one I didn't remove initially because it's just a jumper between the batteries. These two coming to it though I did remove. 14 millimeter. Be a good time maybe to check the water in your battery if you have batteries that uh, let you do that okay I think that's it let's button it up well I hope you enjoyed this video on how to install the boost solenoid in your view or Navion RV and if you like this kind of content let us know in the comments and consider hitting like and subscribe that's it for today thanks for watching you! Um, until we see you next time, happy trails.